Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's data culture video, we're going to look at the importance of having a central portal for your self-service business intelligence community. Let's take a look. In some of our previous videos, we've looked at the concepts of community, of having a partnership between IT and business stakeholders, and the importance of having training resources that are readily available. One thing that I mentioned in those videos is that it's important to have a single central portal where those resources are located. Today we're going to take a closer look at the importance of the portal, and rather than building my own instructional video, I actually want to take a look or share with you an orientation video created by Valve Software and Aperture Laboratories back in 2007. But as you can see in this video, or in the still that I have taken from this video, it's not uncommon for a user, say a self-service BI user, a Power BI user, to have a goal that they need to achieve. And to solve that goal, or to complete or achieve that goal, they need to find resources that include reports, data, training materials, guidance, help on processes, or anything at all. And finding those resources is often difficult because the organization puts obstacles in the way. Typically, these obstacles aren't intentional. They're simply there because those resources have grown and been developed organically over time. And that means that they're distributed in different locations, owned by different teams with different permissions and so on. Now, getting access to this is easier when you have a portal that will allow you to easily get to those resources wherever they happen to be. And with the right portal, users across your organization are able to get easily from where they currently are located to where they need to be closer to those resources. Now, if this feels like a stretch, eh, you may be right, but I actually wanna throw a few things out there. If you're familiar with the video game portal, you know that uh, the protagonist that you play during the game has a device that will allow her to put a, uh, a blue portal on one surface and an orange portal on another and jump quickly from one into the other, solving a wide variety of increasingly complex puzzles that the testing center that she's trapped in will put in her way. Trying to build data solutions inside an enterprise organization is surprisingly close to being trapped in the Aperture Science Testing Center. And a lot of the barriers that are in the way, as you're trying to find the right data, as you're trying to get permissions to it, as you're trying to convince that person to give you permissions or to convince the owners that you have a legitimate purpose to access it, that you're trying to understand what data is available where and, and what the keys are and how it relates to other data sets, this can quickly become a very daunting challenge, even without you know, kind of tenuous video game analogies. Having a central portal where all of the resources that a self-service BI user will need is really key, and it often forms one of the central artifacts created and maintained by the center of excellence, and it often represents the center of gravity for community activities it could be SharePoint, it could be Teams, it could be Yammer, it could be Slack, it could be Jira, it could be any resource or any, uh, any uh, typically web-based or app-based uh, location where people can come together and share resources that exist el elsewhere and to collaborate on those resources. The most important thing is that there is a single location or as few locations as possible. Keep in mind that those same barriers that make a portal necessary, they often make it difficult or complicated to centralize on a single central portal location because everyone always wants a single resource as long as it's their resource uh, that ends up being the one that survives. The general guidance, the thing that I see being the most successful from all of the customers that I work with is to either, I guess that's two, but it's to either have a 
uh, an existing location, so a place where people are already working, uh, which is increasingly Teams, uh, still SharePoint or Yammer or Slack uh, to a lesser extent, but you find the place where people are already working and you start putting the resources there. You build the, the portal where the users already congregate. And if there isn't an existing location that meets those criteria, you build the portal and then you start consistently driving users in the community to that one central location, making sure that what they need is there. And if you think back to the video on community, you know that this involves uh, answers to questions, but it also involves the aggregated set of links and documents and training and help that someone would need to be successful without asking a question. And in some organizations, they will actually use Power BI as that portal. And the first time that I heard this, I was thinking that this was something of a, uh, a chicken and the egg scenario. It's like, why would you put all of the links into a Power BI report instead of using a purpose-built tool, so using something like SharePoint or Teams and linking out to the Power BI reports and similar things from there. And what those organizations or what the people from those organizations told me was that their users had developed a center of gravity around Power BI. And even before the Power BI service allowed them to customize uh, and to curate the content on the homepage in the Power BI portal, what they had done was they had created a Power BI report that essentially served as the catalog of information, all of the reports, whether they were Power BI reports or not. They would actually have links out to reporting services or Tableau or other third-party products. They would have the links to those all curated and managed in a back-end data source, which was probably a SharePoint list or Excel workbook but they would have those curated uh, in the data source and exposed through a Power BI report. And all of the users in their organization knew, go to this report, this is your starting point, no matter what. And they basically used that to find wherever the resources were. Reports, data source documentation, process documentation, you name it. The other more common thing is to have the portal that the users are already working in be the place where people can find the documentation, the help, the training, and the reports. And some of you may be saying, boy, Matthew, doesn't that sound like a data catalog? Are you describing a data catalog here? And I want to say, kind of. So if there were a catalog that were available that was appropriately customized for the personas that are working with your self-service BI tools, and that had all of this information in it and could be that single point of entry, that would be ideal, especially if it was automatically current and maintained as the contents of the Power BI service or other uh, locations for information were updated. To the best of my uh, knowledge, the best of my information, such a catalog does not exist today. There are a wide range of enterprise data catalogs that are available, but typically, their user experience and the metadata and information that they present is targeted at information governance or BI professionals, not at the self-service BI users that you need accessing the information that we're discussing today. So if you do have a data catalog, definitely incorporate that information into the portal, but understand that simply having a catalog unless the contents and the user experience allow you to curate it so that it's appropriate for your users and the personas who need that information, that catalog won't solve the problem that we're discussing today. And even if it does, it may not be the right single portal. It may simply be one of the resources that you reference from that single portal. The key thing to remember here, and we're going to echo back or reference back to our, our video on training, is that most users will not go out of their way to seek out knowledge or information or resources that isn't where they're already working. The vast majority of users, unless the information is right there 
in the tool, in the experience, on the page where they had to go anyway, they will never look for it until they have some compelling, urgent need to do so. And you don't want to wait for it to become a problem. You don't want to wait for the emergency before users find the information that you've made available. And this is why it's important to have one portal or as few portals as possible where all of the information that those users need will be aggregated and easily discoverable and where those users will be going on a day-to-day -day basis to perform their core duties. This is our video on Portal. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. All right, we're not gonna do this every video, but let's take a look at the actual Valve promotional video that those screenshots at the beginning of the, uh, uh, at the beginning of this video came from. Now, if you remember when Portal was first announced way back in 2007, and you were, you were waiting for Half-Life 2, you know, episode, whatever it was, but you were waiting for some Half-Life game, and you realized that, oh my goodness, there's this other thing that's gonna be in the same box. You're watching this video, look at the first puzzle that they demonstrated, the first puzzle that they show off uh, during this video. Let's look at a real world example. You've got your character, there is a destination on the other side of the room, and there is this giant dumpster fire. There's this giant pit of literal fire in between, and you look over, and there's the ceiling with spikes getting ready to come down. This is why I think that the analogy, the portal analogy, works so well. To me, watching this video, it feels like a deadline approaching. I know where I need to go. Oh, I don't know where to get there. Oh, the deadline is closing in. And having a portal with those resources available, it's a way for you to get over the dumpster fire that is the morass of tribal knowledge inside an organization. And it allows you to quickly get over that barrier. The deadline is still gonna come, but you're not going to be trapped by it. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if this actually works for you. Also look down in the description of the video uh, for a link to that Val video uh, that I have uh, borrowed from here. So I hope you like it. See you next time.